up now with a thing that I dig and I know you dig because I got four requests for this thing already today. Strutting lightly. That was KBOO volunteer disc jockey George Page. Page has been playing jazz and popular black music on KBOO for the past 12 years. What I do to the audience, I draw, hopefully, is to please them with all types of black music. Mostly, what you can't hear as a rule on uh, larger black-oriented stations in L.A. or San Francisco. I play a lot of blues and a lot of jazz. All of it's black-oriented, but it's not the cuts you're going to hear on the other jazz shows. It's not the cuts you're going to hear on... Uh, other stations, because other stations just don't play jazz and blues in a black vein the way I do here. One of the main reasons for KBOO's appeal is it programs music seldom, if ever, heard on Portland commercial stations. KBOO provides a 24-hour <laughs> diet of classical, <laughs> jazz, blues, Middle Eastern, reggae, disco, yeah, country, and even rock, flavored sometimes with a dash of live local bands. KBOO had to move from its downtown First and Yamhill location to 8th and Burnside on the east side. Total cost of remodeling the new quarters, $154,000. But other volunteers, such as carpenters, electricians, painters, and sheet rockers, have donated skilled labor. Well, I listen all the time, and working part-time doesn't give me enough money, really, to contribute financially, so I thought I'd come down and work. I had a few hours today, and... I heard they had some finish work to do, and that's what I do, so here I am. KBOO is now faced with a 40% funding cut by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. That from $42,000 in fiscal 82 to only $25,000 for fiscal 83. But station manager Vicki Tempe has a plan to make it up. One specific thing we're doing is we're launching a program to solicit business support through an underwriting program such as you see on PBS. So that's one major thing. We're also attempting to do a better job in terms of appealing to people for money and tracking people who have already been contributors, paying attention to whether or not they're continuing. If KBU can hang in, the future could be bright. It already has FCC approval to increase its 12,000 watts to 30,000. That will mean stereo broadcasts and better car radio reception. At listener-supported KBU Radio, Dick Bogle, Channel 2 News.